I'm Dr. Brent Els, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, Canada. I am mostly interested in understanding the role that the Arctic Ocean plays in removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And I'm also interested in how that might change in the future as the climate of the Arctic changes, and more specifically as sea ice in the Arctic changes. The paper that my colleagues and I recently published in Geophysical Research Letters looks at exactly that issue in one large section of the Arctic Ocean called the Canada Basin. The Canada Basin has been mostly ice-free in the summer in recent years, which means that the ocean has been more exposed to the atmosphere. And we thought that that might allow it to soak up more carbon dioxide than it has in the past. But what we found was that the region does not have a very strong capacity to absorb carbon dioxide. And that's because the area lacks any strong mechanism to move the CO2 from the surface ocean to the deep ocean, where it can be stored for long periods of time. So if we were hoping for the Arctic Ocean to slow down climate change a little bit for us by removing some of the CO2 that we have been pumping into the atmosphere, that probably won't be the case, at least not for this region of the Arctic. <laughs>